And that was our abracadabra. Just a brief appearance by the kitty. So we welcome you back. It is now the afternoon, actually late afternoon, about 4.30 in the afternoon. It is still May the 30th, 2023, and here's our new guitar day. Box looks like it's in excellent shape, which is always pleasant surprise, because as we know from past videos, IYV guitars spare every expense to package their guitars, but somehow these things over and over and over again tend to make it to their destination in one piece. Based on my experience, it looks like this is in fact a brand new guitar, just looking at the tape job. This came to us from Amazon, of course, because Amazon is the exclusive. Once again, as you can see, we have our classic broken. They need to like beef that thing up. This came from Amazon in Boise, Idaho, of all places. This would be, I believe, the third guitar that I've gotten that has originated from Boise, Idaho, a place that I visited many, many years ago. Back when it was a small town. Now, from what I understand, it's not a small town anymore. This is the second purchase of the IYV IJZ 300 and Tobacco Sunburst. And we're just going to do the immediate investigation. This is a dark sunburst, again. Back, barely any sunburst at all. And that feels great. The preliminary, this is the, what appears to be the newer model, which has the short block. I was sort of hoping for a long block, but hey, I'll take a short block. So we're going to take just a moment. We'll be right back. Okay, well I'm going to give it a preliminary thumbs up. I'm going to go tune it up, plug it in and play. You know, there's the usual suspects. Little tiny things with the binding that five minutes of just smooching around with a Q-tip. Certainly no big deal. But all in all, it looks nice. The grain on it's really nice. On the back, it's very interesting. Again, I'm glad it's the short block. I'm glad it's the sunburst that doesn't exist on the sides. Um, I'm glad it's the very, very, very light sunburst on the back. The camera probably shows more sunburst in person. It's just really dark. So I'm going to go plug it in and play. Because that will tell us more than anything. So we will be back. Okay, we're back with some quick commentary. I've gone over the guitar about as well as I can, and I don't find any major issues certainly not in the cosmetic department. You know, looking at the tailpiece, it does look like it's a tiny bit off-center, but it doesn't look like it affects playability at all. If you get really close, you can see how the strings tend to, these are tend to pull in over. This one looks fairly straight, so I'm not sure how that works, or maybe this thing can move a little bit, or, you know, not really sure. But it doesn't seem to be an issue probably should be better, you know, with their touting CNC machines, but maybe the CNC machine doesn't do the, yeah, I, c I can actually see that the tailpiece is off a fair amount, um, but again, how much that affects playability, I don't know. The issue that does affect playability on this guitar was the G-string tuner button, if that's what we're calling them, was loose and it fell off. So I tried to put it back on and I could not get the screw to catch. So I was puzzled by that. There are two tiny little washers on the shaft. 
One is like a Teflon plastic and one's a metal one. If I take the metal one out, which is skinny, 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 the screw actually attaches and goes in and the tuner works fine. <coughs> on the other hand, if I put the metal one back on, the tuner is so far out that the screw won't catch. So my solution for the moment is just taking the metal one out and the tuner seems to work fine. So I'm going to call Amazon and just see what they think. You know, as time goes on, there has been some comments about the supposed three-ply binding. This one looks much better than my other one. My other one sort of disappears down here. The inlays all seem to be done really well. There's no excess glue. There's no gapping. There's no spaces. Um, I did get the proverbial dirty fingers, which I've since washed my hands, so the strings are sort of funky. Frets are a little scratchy, but not bad. Guitar seems to be intonated perfectly. I don't find any issues on the body whatsoever. I mean, the body just seems to be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, and I'm wondering if the serial number on this one's the same as all the other ones. This shows that it was a 22 uh, July of 22, according to how they do their serial numbers. Um, number four in that run, if that's true. I have no idea. Fred ends again really nice. The back of the guitar has some nice figuring on it, which is pretty. So, anyways, and it plays nice. It sounds good. The pickups are a little less robust than the other model that I have, but, you know, that's what volume knobs on amps are for, so you just turn it up, and away you go. So, yeah, feels pretty good. So I'm just going to take some still pictures of it just to document, and then see what Amazon wants to do. It's quite possible I'm going to send this guitar back just because I don't want to put another tuner on it. I don't think they have one available for me. So we'll keep you up to date on what happens.